Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Scuba Travel and Adventure, Thomas here. It's time for another ride. Beautiful day, sun is shining. Gonna take the advantage of it and go for a short spin. And not going to be many more before I will head out for another yearly longer adventure. We are probably just a couple of weeks away changing the plans instead of going to Western Canada uh, West uh, Northwest Canada uh, to, towards Prince Rupert we will try to head out to back to Utah and uh, we're hoping that we're gonna get through the border uh, some of us decided to take the jab some of them some of us are did not so that might be a bit questionable if we will be able to cross the border with uh, we in Canada we still have all the uh, travel restrictions in place which uh, I'm not a fan of the plan is uh, that we will head out to Utah but uh, on the way we want to hit uh, Yellowstone National Park uh, we won't be spending too much time in Yellowstone, we just want to drive through it, uh, just uh, for the sceneries. That's going to be another uh, part of the adventure that wasn't on, uh, on the original plans. I'm really looking forward to this trip um, and hoping that we will be able to cross that border. And the next, uh, what we were planning to do is uh, once we're going to get to Utah, we want to ride uh, more off-road than uh, we did uh, three years ago. And uh, if you're interested to see that, uh, I made a video from the last trip. Anyways, if you are new to this channel and if you like the content on it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment uh, down below and subscribe. Lots of uh, fun rides and tutorials anything related to travel and scuba diving so now let's roll, roll the intro and i'll see you in a bit So today, as any other day, no major plans, no major route, I'm just heading out. I have about three hours to kill before I have to get back home and uh, pick up my daughter from school. But why not take the advantage of this beautiful day and uh, head out for a short spin? Um, yesterday, I also went uh, riding, but it was quite cloudy. The weather wasn't that good. And uh, I was playing with my drone, um, the Mavic Mini 2. I was uh, trying the active track uh, while I was practicing uh, after the winter. A uh, little bit of off-road skills and uh, some fun stuff uh, just in my, uh, just close to home uh, where I live. Uh, there's a construction site and uh, I decided to go uh, for a bit uh, to ride, practice some slides getting on and off the bike uh, <laughs> I sort of uh, follow uh, Brett Tuck's video how he stops the bike uh, while in motion and getting off the bike while I'm on and off the bike while in motion so a couple J, J hook turns and all that stuff so I figured out a way with uh, third party app it's called Lychee uh, to control the drone and I was able to actually sort of uh, make the drone to follow uh, the motorcycle uh, the only problem is uh, when I was doing a quick turns it was uh, kind of losing the sights for a bit until uh, it pick up again uh, so but uh, that was a quite small area so that uh, that would be pretty obvious like i turn on the motorcycle by the time the drone is gonna get around it takes a while unless i put a maybe bigger distance on it uh, for the field of view but i just wanted to check it out if that will work so basically that's a little bit different instead of using the 
camera uh, and the optical uh, optical uh, lock on the screen it uses uh, the, the GPS uh, to follow the remote control which is actually kind of good but um, just uh, up front the Lichi app does not uh, it can void uh, your warranty if your car crashed the drone so that's something I wouldn't uh, recommend to use it quite regularly uh, I would only use that uh, in an open space where there's no trees and stuff like that this way uh, I think you should be okay but other than that if you're filming uh, just a normal video um, you just use the DJI fly up uh, that uh, that app is supported by the warranty issues uh, and if you crash the drone you can send it back to DJI and uh, if you have the coverage they'll replace it for you and basically uh, I wanted to test uh, my drone uh, the Mavic Mini 2 if it can do follow me or active track uh, to the, the, the proper phrase for that and that, that word it is I was actually able to make the drone to follow me but of course uh, since I was making uh, quick turns it took the wi a while for a drone to catch up but eventually it caught it and uh, it was able to track it uh, basically I was using the Lichi app instead of uh, DJI fly app and uh, that app allows the drone to follow the remote control so if I had the remote control in my tank bag the drone was uh, basically following me around uh, on and off uh, losing the sight but it was catching up uh, so now I'm gonna try to implement that uh, maybe into my videos if I can but uh, the guys are always in a rush and uh, if I'm filming uh, while riding in a group I'm slowing them down unfortunately but anyway, so that's uh, that's what I did. Last weekend, uh, one of my friends uh, that is heading out uh, with us on a trip, and uh, he is the one that uh, stays with me from the beginning uh, for the past eight years uh, when we go on a yearly uh, longer ride. And uh, last year, he bought a BMW F650 uh, because he also has a. Um, BMW R1200 RT or 1200 RT however however you call that bike but uh, that bike is a great bike I love this bike uh, when I was riding it but unfortunately uh, it's not a bike to go off-road and since we are planning to go off-road uh, he wanted to get, get a second bike so he can ride with us uh, more comfortably because uh, uh, three years ago uh, when uh, we went down to Utah he was on the R1200 RT <laughs> which was kind of funny riding off-road uh, with that huge bike and uh, <laughs> we didn't do anything crazy but uh, his boxes were falling off and all that stuff so it was a bit a, a little bit of abuse of that bike so last weekend he came over and uh, basically he asked me to do a couple of things for him because uh, since he got that bike uh, he hasn't done anything on it uh, he has added himself a few accessories such as crash bars uh, new windscreen and so on but um, he, uh, he did not uh, do any maintenance on it so we, we changed his uh, I changed his tires uh, front and back and I uh, he ended up buying a Moto Z tractionator GPS same tires that I've been using uh, for the last few years and, I, and actually I bought another set myself um, last week uh, because everything is in the back order so I figure uh, I ordered earlier and uh, I ordered the tires about um, three weeks ago and uh, last week they came in so anyways going back uh, to the work uh, I changed both of his tires uh, I then I looked at his brakes the brakes uh, were looking good but unfortunately <laughs> the rear brake wasn't working at all so I look I took a closer look 
and I noticed uh, that the, bla the brakes needed to be to, to be bleed. So I bled the, the front brakes and the rear brake and uh, that fixed the problem. Uh, the brake fluid that came out of them was pretty much like uh, like very thin milk. It, so it was almost white. So the previous owner obviously didn't do nothing and uh, he didn't even look at it since he bought it. I'm surprised that he didn't uh, catch it earlier because uh, when you hit the brake, uh, the brake lever for the rear brakes, it was like they were not completely not working. So all he had is just the front brakes, but now everything is uh, perfect. Both, both of the brakes front and back, I completely flashed them and they're working great now. Another thing uh, that uh, I did uh, for him, uh, I put a brand new chain and sprockets, uh, front sprocket and the rear sprocket. So now he should be worry free for a while. Uh, since, uh, but the sprockets were a little bit worn out, but nothing, it wasn't really drastic. But uh, it was time because you could see actually a little bit of wear on the front and the back. So we did all that and uh, the bike is ready to go. Uh, the only thing left that he has to do is uh, just uh, change the battery uh, because uh, he had some issues starting it up that morning that he was coming over. Uh, that's a small thing, uh, he can do that himself. Uh, swap the battery on uh, on that bike is quite easy. So that bike is a BMW F650, uh, similar to Dakar, but uh, it has a little bit different name uh, to it. I don't remember now. Um, but uh, when we go on adventure uh, to Utah, uh, that will get back to me once I have a look at it. Smaller enduro bike, but it's a great bike. Uh, for, uh, it's uh, very nice to maneuver and nice and light comparing to Africa Twin or uh, what Robert's uh, BMW R1200 GSA. That's, uh, that's, those are heavy bikes. I guess I'm gonna turn here. So the bikes are ready, my bike is ready. I'm still debating if I should change my rear tire, but uh, it's a bit too early at this point uh, because the tire is, uh, it's got at least another four or 5,000 kilometers on it. It would be nice to have a new tire uh, when I'm going off-road uh, to Utah, but uh, financially it's not really worth it because I, uh, I do, we did the route planning yesterday and uh, I figure we're gonna do a, a probably slightly under 5,000 uh, kilometers. So those, uh, I, I wanna maximize the life uh, out of those tires. The last uh, tire set that I had, uh, the same tires, uh, Moto Z, Traction Aders, GPS, I got almost 20,000 kilometers out of them and I still had some thread life. Uh, maybe for another one, one or two thousand kilometers on pavement, I would say. But uh, I always switch them uh, prematurely, I should say. I found some side gravel road. I'm not sure where is that leading. Uh, just before the entry to Kananaski's uh, park. So I'm gonna take it a bit further here and see what's up here, what's up there. Probably doesn't go, go far because it says no exit. But why not? There's some kind of a creek. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped up uh, before heading out on a trip. I got uh, a few more days of work before heading out and really looking forward to it. I'm curious how far is it gonna take me. Oh, it's an access to some kind of a farm I think. Yeah that might be a private property. I don't want to go any further. Let's turn it around. Horses. 
one more, more petting. I was able to fly the drone for a bit, my Mini 2, now it's time to slowly go back home. For some reason, every time I get out this year, the weather just simply quickly switches over. That's not it yet. After a couple hours of riding, the clouds are coming in. June is the month with the highest precipitation here in Alberta. So you never know, it's got pretty dark in the back there or it looks over there like it is raining because there's those smurges on the sky. But that's no problem, we're only about uh, an hour away from home. We do have a rain gear, not an issue. It wouldn't be the first time uh, when I was riding in the uh, rain. But other than that, it has been a beautiful day. But when you go on a bike, the time flies. Uh, by the time you turn around, the uh, time is gone. We are beginning of June here, and my videos are always a little bit behind. I want to create content ahead of time. So there's always something uh, to release the uh, following week. Um, I'm trying to get one video out per week. Oh, wrong turn, wrong turn. Gotta turn around, shoot. Supposed to go turn into Plumber's Road, it's a little bit uh, ahead of time. We'll quickly turn around here. It's the next one over. Oh, traction control kick in. <laughs> I didn't disable it. I always have it on when I'm on the road. There we go, Plumas Road. <laughs> Sometimes when you're looking on the GPS, uh, that little line is deceiving. It's not the first time that happened. No ducks today? Oh yeah, there is a couple of them. Usually there's more here. During the week, most of my friends are working. I'm one of the few that uh, gets time off, uh, like today. 
I'm usually off on Thursdays and Fridays unless I pick up extra work. Just around the corner, at the end of June, my daughter is going to start a vacation and uh, I will try to head out with her a couple times on a bike uh, to take her camping. Uh, somewhere close to Calgary. I'm not going to take her far. Um, the, she's only 10 years old and uh, I don't want to go for a long ride where she's going to fall asleep on me. <laughs> You never know with kids. I do have her on a comm system, but uh, I'll still at the same time, you never know. Yeah, at this point, uh, I will wrap it up. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. I'm getting close to 1000 subscribers on my channel. I'm hoping by the time you will watch this video, I will have a thousand, which is a huge milestone on YouTube. And uh, Ahead of time, I'm um, thanking to all of you, uh, whoever is viewing my content or watching my content and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that, uh, that helps me a lot and that helps the YouTube algorithm uh, to push my videos and my content. And same on uh, this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below and subscribe if you didn't. And always write safe and see you in the next video. Cheers.